Hello Taurus, this is Crystal for your magic and this is your December reading or whenever you see this video, okay? All right, Taurus, how are you doing? Sorry I'm getting these out late, but like I said, I'm kind of leaning away from doing monthlies and just doing videos as spirit leads me to do them. I got some more important things to, to discuss with the collective besides tarot readings, you know what I mean? All right. Here we go. Let's see what we got for Taurus Spirit. Hope you had a good new moon. Cool solar eclipse. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. Adjustments are required. A win-win outcome is in forecast. And that you are good enough. Confidence is your key to success. All right. It seems like um, some of you are suffering from imposter syndrome. Or some type of negativity towards yourself. So it seems like spirit is letting you know that it is time to realize how fucking badass you are, Taurus. Okay. No more excuses. You know, I know it's fun, you know, being a victim sometimes because, you know, you don't have any accountability, but it looks like spirits telling you, um, yeah, you're good. You are good enough. You have third quarter moon for adjustments are required. When, when outcome is forecast for full moon of Libra, and then you have, you are good enough for full moon of Virgo. And then on, under the deck, you have confidence is your key to success. So what I mean, it's plain as day, you guys lack confidence. Maybe not all of you, but some of you. Okay, we all do at times. No judgment here, babies. No judgment here. I'll put this over here for us to stare at, to remind us, okay? All right, put you there. Now I'm gonna put this right here so I can see it. Okay, let's see what's going on. Dealing with confidence issues. Taurus the bull, never. You could never. You better channel your little spirit animal. Lacking confidence. Taurus, guys, come on, guys. Come on. You're a fixed sign, like Scorpios and Aquarius. And you're like the fixed earth sign. What do the angels, spirit guides, oracles have to say to Taurus? What messages are for Taurus for whenever they see this video? Or the month of December. Rest of December, please. Lacking confidence. That is whack, guys. I hate that for real. That is whack. So, so, so whack. All right. Let's see what we got. Take charge with authority. Enjoy growth. Free rewards. Be devoted and committed. Great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. So, yeah. I think a lot of you guys have been through some things in your life that... Um, your confidence took a hit, right? Same. But they're letting you know that you're on the right path. There are no mistakes. There are no mistakes, guys. Okay? Maybe I should put this down here. I'm doing a new layout, as y'all see. So, I just want to make sure you're able to see everything. Boom. Okay. Yeah, so take charge with authority. Kind of like, you know, adjustments are required. Um, enjoy growth and reap rewards for lady. That's Mother Earth, so, um, or the Empress in tarot. So a win-win outcome is in forecast. And then you are good enough, and this is say to be devoted and committed. You are good enough. You are good enough. Guys, what is going on? I gotta get in the tarot and get in y'all's business. And let's not forget the great teacher here. Learn from spiritual experiences. So instead of um, focusing on the negative, just know that it happened for a reason and it was to teach you something, okay? All right, let's see. What am I using? What am I using? Got some cards here. It's ridiculous. Okay, Taurus. Let's get all up in your business and see why Spirit is telling you and reassuring you you do have the confidence. <laughs> You do have the strength, you have the skills, you have the ability, and you're winning. I mean, a win one outcome is a forecast for sure, but okay. All right, what does Tarot have to tell Taurus? What messages, outcomes, 
guidance do you have for Taurus? Thank you. Okay, we hear it one more time. And we will pull. Yeah, definitely look like you're living up with the um here, I'll put this with Callie. With um oh yeah, the emperor. You're showing up as the emperor. Okay, so um, logic and organization will increase your success. Remember to tell you to take charge and organize and, you know, just jump in your ass the whole time. Adjustments are required. So, yeah, you're showing up currently as the emperor, your brother, your <laughs> Aries, right? So, logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of a situation. Accept a leadership role. Structure and discipline. And this is the zaddy energy of uh, tarot, by the way. Challenge. Oh, Knight of Cups, creativity, or thinking of a romantic partner, thinking about romance, thinking about being booed up, but romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship. So that could be the problem. Um, the love of art and poetry, you got to tap into that inner creative, guys. Crowning your energy, ooh, King of Cups, Scorpio coming through, Okay. So what's crowning your energy is um, having control of your emotions, right? Being cautious, being devoted, being loving, being caring, but not too much, right? Loving, supportive, someone that you completely trust. Um, could be thinking about a Scorpio. Shout out to my homie who is a Taurus, who is with a Scorpio. Um, foundation, though, is the magician. So, so far we have um, Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, and now we have you and um, Gemini coming through. Um, so, magic is alive in your life. This is your foundation. So, that's why they're telling you that you are good enough. A win-win outcome is a forecast, you know. Enjoy the growth and reap the rewards presently, right? Magic is alive in your life. So, you're manifesting something. You're working on something. Awesome. Recent past, you have the wise counselor to hire from. There you are. So, um, unity with spiritually minded people or community, um, tapping into higher wisdom. That is the divine masculine of the high priestess. The high priestess, the higher friend is the high priest. Okay. So, um, they're saying that you've been asking the divine for help. You've been tapping into your higher self, your ancestors, God. Some of you may have got counseling in the past to help you with, you know, things that have happened in your life that did not work out for your best interests. Near future, you have the Four of Cups. Yeah, you are emotionally just not happy with whatever is going on in your life. <laughs> you're just not, you're, not, you're just not with it. So, failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. Your attitude is justice, Libra energy. So, um, you're trying to be more balanced. Um, standing up for what you believe in, your environment is the dreamer. So that is the fool in tarot. So new start, trusting yourself, um, pushing your fears aside, just out there. Oh yeah. Um, your hopes and fears. So this would be <laughs> hopes and fears is this, the end of a situation that brings relief and sad or sadness. So it's this situation right here. Something is coming to an end. Um, so, but it's the opportunity for new happiness, new beginnings. It's you just walking away from what destroyed you mentally, right? Emotionally, whatever. Swords deals with thoughts. Um, that's Aquarius, Libra, like I said. And then the outcome is the Ace of Swords. So, brilliant ideas that need refinement. Again, adjustments are required. Um, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. A win-win outcome is in forecast. <laughs> you are good enough. Uh, communicate clearly and concisely. Remain objective. Wow. This clarifiers. The Hermit, Virgo energy, Nine of Swords, Warrior and the Death, Gemini energy, and Two of Cups. Cancer energy, being in love, coupling up, um, being in a romantic relationship all the tanks and then you have the five of wands under the deck which is conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions so drama competition right so you're walking away from stuff that no longer serves you 
this situation that had you stressed the fuck out and arguing and fighting kept you up at night, right? So you went within, you sought, you know, higher counsel, right? And then boom, may have dealt with a relationship, right? So you went alone. You're like, you know what? Um, what happened to me in my past, me fighting, me always worrying, me always stressed out, it did not work out. Same thing for, with a job. You know, I'm not here to have drama. I just came to work to do my job and do what the fuck I'm supposed to do, right? So yeah, your attitude right now is injustice. You want justice. Like whatever was done wrong to you, whatever caused this right here, yeah, you want justice for it. You are freaking over being nice and you're ready to start over. You're, you're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to move all the way on. Good for you, Taurus. I'm so fucking proud of you right now. All right, with that being said, let's pull out the romance angels. Let's get your romance done. And then um, I'll pull some messy cards too to see what's going on if I have to. And then we'll close with a divine power affirmation, okay? This is for Taurus for the month of December or whenever they see this video. The remaining month of December, how about that? Okay. I'm a scared fool. But y'all are doing good though, I'm not worried about you. This is a good reading. You have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. That's for some of you, not all of you. Stay optimistic. About your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romances for my singles. And then this one here, work waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. That's why they're saying stay optimistic. And for some of you, Spirit just told me, the single ones, you may get engaged. That may happen, right? And then children, your love life is being affected by your children. So just be mindful, guys. Anytime we're booed up with somebody, especially if it's a toxic, fucked up situation, or even if it's a good one, kids take notice and they carry that on with their little lives. And then if you are abused in front of your children, they tend to hook up with partners that are also abusive. I mean, seriously, like it's crazy. It's, an, it's a whole situation. All right. So let me see. Let's get all up in y'all's business again. And I'm going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle. This is the mess I was telling you about. Um, to see the person on Taurus's mind, your person, whether you're with them or not, what do they want to say to Taurus right now? This is not a cross watcher read. Do not make a story about yourself, guys, okay? You know, you're not a bad person. You're not a toxic person. Now, obviously, it's not for you. If you didn't hurt tourists, then don't worry about it. It's not for you. Okay? That's why I don't do cross watching and stuff. I just can't. I've tried to do that stuff before with my situation. I'm like, whoa, that never happened. So, yeah, it just gets you upset. And, like, you don't need that in your life. I want to see tarot as a way to level up in life. A cheat code. Not for drama and mess, right? But for right now, we're going to have drama and mess. <laughs> We want to say Taurus, guys. The timing just wasn't right for us. So that's a past person. You speak to me through music. Ooh la la. I love you unconditionally. So wherever that resonates in your life for some of you, this one is someone being mature and saying, hey, it just wasn't for us. Um, you speak through me through music. And then I love you unconditionally. I love when people use my, I know I messed up everything. Yes, you have someone that actually knows they fucked up. Okay. All right, Taurus. Let's see what your divine power affirmation and we will end reading. Oh, shout out to my homie, Jess. You and your boo showed up in this reading, honey. Good Lord. That's crazy. The timing just wasn't right for us. Well, oh well. We flow, don't we, Taurus? We're not worried about this stuff anymore because the win-win outcome is a forecast for you guys. All right. What's the divine power affirmation for Taurus? Spirit, thank you. No flip out top, pull from the top. We have my truth. 
I speak and walk in my divine truth. My truth does not harm myself or another. My truth is what, Taurus? Love. That is your divine power affirmation, love bugs. All right, thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much. Have a happy December. And remember, we are magic and we are one. Don't forget to hit the like button. That really does help. Talk to you soon. Bye.